That was the confusion that characterized the conduct of the JAM UTME at a CBT center on Motala Mohammed Way, Benin City, following protests by candidates and their parents over inability of the center to conduct the examination. It was a disappointing situation for the over 700 UTME candidates billed to write the examination in batches at the center following power failure. Efforts by officials of the center to power the facility with generating set failed, a situation that angered the candidates and their parents. Right here, give it a, 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 a telecommunication center. We are yet to, we are unable to write jam. Students here that came at seven o'clock, they are still here to write jam. And I am writing by nine o'clock. We have not written jam. It's only here that I learned that they are using a pallet to write jam. Can you imagine? Our most sleep since yesterday. Since yesterday, our most sleep. Only for us to get here by six thirty. They are telling us that they will cancel the exam. For what now? Why would they cancel it? We came here at six. And now they have not, they have not given us the chance to write our jam. Even the people that went to the exam or to write the jam, they didn't. Allow me to write. They said there's no lights. No How would they be boring general at the CBT center? They are telling us that they don't even know the, 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 the time of writing jam. If it's on Monday, if it's on Sunday, if it's I mean, even today, they don't even know. They are telling us that, that we should go home or that they will send us a message that you want to write jam that we still come back and we go today. The generator got spread. Some candidates who could not control their emotion broke down when news filtered in that the examination for the CBT center has been rescheduled. Efforts to confirm the development from officials of the CBT center was unsuccessful as they locked out journalists to avoid camera interview. Some parents who brought their children and wards for the examination decried the frustration as a result of the development. The children were supposed to start at 7. We brought them at least before 7. Let them start. They had this. I left my son. I came back around after 11. I said, maybe by then he must have finished. Only for me to get here, they have not started. Why don't you just address us plainly? This thing is not going to work. Let the children come. You both should go. We will schedule them. Why lying? Why covering up? This place is not working. Why are they using it? Last year they said it was like this. This year again they brought students. It was brief for 7 a.m. But as we speak now, they are here to start because of a poor arrangement. The system here is not working. No lights. You can imagine. No it's jet. 7 o'clock. No they are saying that it's 7 o'clock. Second pass, they don't enter. So we are, we, we, we are angry. At other CBT centers visited in Benin City, examination for the first batch commenced hours behind schedule following technical challenges. Some candidates, their parents, and an official of the center expressed mixed feelings on the conduct of the examination. JAMP UTME held across 777 computer-based test centers across the country. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.